Hey guys, Bob Sandwich here with another TF2 video. Today I'll be doing a weapon overview of the Force of Nature with the Scout on Sawmill. Before I get started, I should point out that I am not the best Force of Nature user. Um, I usually actually use the shortstop, so in some situations here I actually forget that I'm using this gun and not the shortstop, and I try to have a mid-range battle with someone and it doesn't work out as well as if I was using the shortstop. But I do love using the Force of Nature, it's pretty fun to use. Um, it does. It has a 50% faster firing speed compared to the scatter gun, um, as you can see there when I took out that mini sentry. Uh, this means I can deal damage much quicker um, when people are up close or buildings are up close in that situation. I also get 20% more bullets per shot. However, each bullet does deal 10% less damage. This becomes a total of about 8% more damage total assuming that you hit all of the bullets um, so hopefully you're up close so you can deal maximum damage there it also has a 66% smaller clip size so as you can see there I only have two shots so I should be better at aiming when I'm using this gun um, also the reload speed is much quicker though you reload two shots at once as opposed to reloading them one at a time with the stock scatter gun but if you fire one shot and reload, you will consume two shots, even if you didn't fire a second one. It doesn't matter really that much, I guess, especially here on Sawmill where there's a lot of ammo crates around and I never really seem to run out of ammo, so I just have my auto reload turned on. But if that's a problem, just go ahead and turn it off and do a manual reload. I mean, after you do shoot two shots, it reloads automatically. And moving on to the key feature here of the Force of Nature is the knockback. As you see there, when I shoot downwards, I get sort of like a third jump. Um, you do have to take note though that there is a delay of 1.5 seconds before knockback can be applied to you or your enemy again. So you can't really do a consecutive quadruple jump, I guess. Um, you're going to have to wait a bit and hey, if you're still in the air, go ahead. Then you can do a quadruple jump. Um, also, the knockback is stronger when you're closer to them and it's not based off the damage. So even if you're crit boosted um, or if you're going to do a mini crit because they're jurati'd, it's not going to affect the knockback that's applied to them. Instead, you're just going to deal more damage, which is fine in some cases anyway. I know a lot of people kind of don't like the effect of the force of nature because it, ca it can screw up your aim. I mean, it mo makes the enemy move around bit more maybe than you'd like them to and it probably has a bit of a learning curve there um, but I like using it especially in pubs because a lot of people in pubs probably aren't used to you know being moved around like that like with heavy bear probably um, so it messes them up quite a bit and it's just enough for me to go in for the kill but when I'm going up against more experienced players I prefer to stick with my uh, short stop it's the weapon I use to choose but I do have a lot of fun using this and if you haven't given it a try yet I suggest doing that it's it's a lot of fun also I should point out I'm probably not using the best secondary here I'm using the pretty boys pocket pistol but probably the mad milk stock pistol or bonk atomic punch would be much better alternatives uh, the last one the bonk atomic would probably be best if you're having problems going um, flanking the enemy or going behind enemy lines uh, it's a really useful tool, especially with the Force of Nature, so you can just go up behind people and shoot them back twice, and hopefully take them out. Uh, two shots usually does take out most classes, um, unless they're overhealed or otherwise. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share if you did. Thank you very much for watching once again. Stay shiny.